So guys, we are back here to exposing uh, Rob Christian about the word Mubashara, just because he keeps uh, trying to mention. It says here in Islam web, Mubasharat is zawja fi sami min ghayri jima'ah. So this means min ghayri jima'ah without intercourse. Mubashara, which means touching. Here if we go and search it up, min ghayri jima'ah, right? Not intercourse, without intercourse. So Mubashara would mean touching. So here they say, that um والصائم أن يداعب زوجته وأن يقبل ويضم ويباشر. So for a fasting person, he can, uh, for example, uh, uh, kiss his wife, uh, hug his wife, and touch his wife. أي تمس بشرته بشرتها. That means that his skin touches her skin without intercourse. As you can see here, we can translate it. Okay, as you can see, his skin touches her skin. Okay, uh, and continue. Uh, if 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 uh, he's safe from uh, ejaculating, and not having intercourse. So you can see that the word mubashara means touching and not to have intercourse. So if if it's not having intercourse, then that means the fasting person can kiss, hug, and touch his wife, which means his skin touches her skin. And he does not have intercourse with her. So as you can see, Mubasharat is Zawja, meaning touching the wife Fisawmi while fasting min ghayri jima without intercourse. So Mubashara means touching without intercourse. So as you can see here, not intercourse, without intercourse. So we've exposed Rob Kushin again. And this satanic idol, Allah, does not even know how to write his name correctly in the Quran. Al-Rahman. What? Al-Rahman. Wait, Rob Christian. Muslims always call him Al-Rahman. The Merciful, right? That's one of his 99 names, right? The Merciful. Al-Rahman Al-Rahim. The most merciful. So even in the Quran, in chapter 1, ayah 1, Allah does not even know, know how to write one of his 99 names correctly. And as you see, the Aleph is missing. You see? So the correct way to write it is this way Al Rahman? Here, this one sounds like Al Rahman. Now, Rob Christian again, the idiot fails to understand that there is a Aleph here. It's called Aleph Al Khinjiriya. Al Rahman. You guys see that little dot up here? This little shakhta, little line. This is called an Aleph Al Khinjiriya. Why is it called Aleph Al Khinjiriya? Meaning that you have to say Al Rahman. It's Aleph. Okay, so it's Alif al khanjariya It comes from the word khanjar in Arabic because it looks like a uh, Arabic knife, like this. It comes like a shakhta, as you can see back here. It comes like a like an Arabic knife. So it's called Alif al khanjariya So why is and this is only for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala when a person is writing Al Rahman. First of all, there are many opinions uh, for both Bismillahi Bism and Al Rahman. Bism without an alif. Because uh, it is used to the al istamal, they say the, the scholars it's used. For, it's mostly used for many times to be. They use it a lot to write. They write it a lot. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. So they made it easier with an alif, and al Rahman here. They also because they write it a lot of times. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. They wouldn't. Use, they would use the alif al khanjariya. They would not use the regular alif. And another thing would be is that because al Rahman, when they're referring to. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is used with an alif al-khanjariya when it's referred to another uh, person who's a false god who calls himself ar-Rahman like Musa al al and we'll get into it then it will be written with because they used to call him Rahman al-Yamama so it will be written with an alif it would not be written for this so this ar-Rahman would be also only written like this referring to the true Rahman meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we go right now to volume 1 of this book, Tafsir book. Okay, this is a Tafsir book. It's uh, Tafsir of the Quran. It's um, for on the four, you know, Ibn Kathir, Al Tabari, Al Qurtubi, and it has the four madahib, four fiqh, you know, Hanafi, Maliki, uh, Hanbali, you know, all these. Uh, um, Madahibs here and they have the, uh, the tafsir here. So in this book, Al Qurtubi says, Qal Al Qurtubi wa tuktab bismillah bi ghayri alif, right, without an alif, istighna an anha bi ba il ilsaqi, right? 
لكثرة الاستعمال because they use frequently people write it a lot بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم they write a lot so they try to make it shorter by writing بسم without بإسم right it's different than بخلاف قوله اقرأ بسم ربك okay so uh, فإنها لم uh, تخذف فإنها لم تحذف لقلة الاستعمال so اقرأ باسم ربك الذي قلق خلق it's um, باسم written باسم with an alif because uh, they use it they, they didn't write it uh, frequently like بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم because people the Arabs they used to uh, write before every in letters in uh, in the Quran uh, in the first in every uh, first surah uh, they used to write بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم they use it a lot so this is why they don't uh, include the alif there and similarly with Ar-Rahman, they use it, uh, similarly they write it with, uh, with uh, Alif Al-Khinjiriya, right? Without an Alif like Bi'ism, but they write with a, with a short Alif, uh, with the Khinjar, Khinjar Alif, as we said before, because it's also used for, uh, for written many times. So as you can see in this book on page uh, 26, it says, Qal Al-Qurtubi, Al-Qurtubi says, and I'm going to skim a little bit to show you, uh, that Ar-Rahman uh, with the Alif Al-Khinjiriya is only used for Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. Since Musaylam Al-Kadhab, Allah, he was called Rahman Al-Yamama, right? Then that means that uh, this is a, was uh, a wasab for Musaylam Al-Kadhab, not Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. So the Alif, the regular Alif is used in, in his name. But uh, when it's only referring to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, meaning the true Rahman, uh, then it's written with Alif al khinjiriya So it's not, there's no Alif, regular Alif, it's just written with Alif al khinjiriya Another example is uh, of the Alif al khinjiriya the little Alif as we talked about, the, al the small Alif that looks like an Arabic knife. In Quran chapter 21 verse 52, when Abraham said to his father, إِذْ قَالَ لِأَبِيهِ وَقَوْمِهِ مَا هَذِهِ التَّمَاثِيلِ التي أنتم لها عاكفون, right? When he, meaning Abraham, said to his father and his people, what are these statues to which you are devoted? At Tamathil, statues here are without the Alif Khinjiriya. They don't have the little, uh, uh, what do you call, the little uh, uh, knife, Arabic knife uh, Alif. They have a long Alif. Now, this is because these Tamathil were being worshipped. These statues were being worshipped. As for uh, Quran chapter 34 verse 13, it is talking about the uh, jinn that were working uh, for Sulaiman. يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيبَ وَتَمَاثِيلِ Right? Here Tamathil, it has a little alif. It has the naive alif as you can see above. This is because uh, so Solomon did not worship these statues as you can see. So because he did not worship these statues, it is written differently with alif al khinjiriya with the small Arabic knife. But as for Ibrahim, because uh, his people uh, worship the statues, which is why Tamathil, uh, the Madd here, is actually um, uh, not the Alif al-Khinjiriya, so it's actually uh, the long Madd.